Chaos Vantage 2 Update 1 A better and more useful update last version Great appearance in denoisers Whether moving or standing Making scene states more practical And other features Hello, welcome to MimViz In this scene, we have a room with a small courtyard, which is arranged with the desired furniture. The first feature we want to talk about is the denoiser. As you know, we can enable or disable denoiser from the toolbar. By disabling it, we see that the noise covers the whole scene. By activating it, the problem is solved. But the main problem is the blurring and flickering of the image, especially in the reflection. To solve this problem, Vantage uses a new system called DLSS. To access it, go to Edit and select Preferences. In the Render Default section, we can select the DLSS option in Primary. You can see that we do not have the problem of flickering and blurring and moving. It is also possible to have higher quality denoise in static and combine it with the previous denoise. So, in the secondary section, we select the NVIDIA AI option to have denoise in the best possible conditions. In the scene, we can see that this update is done after the moment and the result is wonderful. The next feature is to control the performance of the denoiser. Well, maybe not everyone has a very good PC. This section is for them. According to the graphics card and frame rate, we can decide how much performance to use. By moving this part, we can specify it. If we set it to 1x, we see that it takes more time to remove the noise. And it is definitely of higher quality but you can see that our frame rate is very low and it makes it difficult for us. For weaker PCs, 4X is recommended, which, in addition to having a suitable frame rate, also has an acceptable quality. Let's go to the next feature. From this version onwards, we will have refract glossiness and can create attractive effects. As you can see, we have a frosted glass in this part. And if I select it, and move it, we can see that the liquid inside is completely transparent. By returning the glass, we see that along with the opaqueness of the glass, we also have the transparency. Scene states is the next feature. As you know, we can create scene states from the right side. Also, in each of the cameras, a scene state can be defined for it and it can be rendered with its own state. But an added feature is that we can convert states to each other by moving between the cameras in the animation and the viewport. We see that the hidden light and the light of the sky are completely changing and changing from one state to another. In another example, we can also have the movement of objects in this case, we see that different parts of the chair move towards the table. For more convenience in creating scene states, a new section has been added to the toolbar. With this, we can easily create scene states faster than before. For example, I reduce the intensity of the light in the sky. We see that the light is completely reduced and we have a new sensation. I also move one of my objects with the Move tool. I move this object out of the viewport and create a scene state called Test. We can see that our scene state is created in this section. Now we need to specify the state of the camera. As we move between cameras, we see that both the light and the objects are changing. We just have to be careful 
that this problem does not occur and the objects do not cross each other. Scene state has many features. It can turn day into night, move objects, change materials, and create different and attractive situations in the shortest possible time. If you are interested in the subject of scene state and would like to know more about it, write a comment so that we can produce new tutorials for you. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to like and comment. Become a member of our channel. Bye until the next tutorial.